yeah the hyper mag just found a home we got this brand new uh, it's a hollow point ultralight casting rod from old 18 and i have been waiting to find a permanent home for this fishing reel right here the loose hyper mag it's a great fishing reel can cast pretty far and I just didn't like the way it felt on some of the other rods until we got to the ultralight casting. This feels spectacular. I think we're going to have good things happen today with this fella. Oh, look at that. Mr. Mullet. Where are they, bro? Oh, where are they? I start every fishing trip just like this. I am so amped and ready to get out here, start casting, and set the hook on that first thump. But until that happens, well, we slowly, it's like a little ticking bomb, slowly each cast ticks away, ticks away, ticks away, and then we just do not know what's going to happen until we feel that thump. <laughs> but if, if that happens, you know, like maybe four or five hours later, then yeah, it takes its toll on you as a, a fisherman. And then you're like, well, I hope I see some good looking wildlife so I can, well, for me, I can get some film of that. Uh-oh. There we are. This is the first test on the ultralight. That was a really nice cast. I mean, I was reaching out there cruising along at seven miles an hour let's get the ego ready we don't want to mess up the way we did with that flounder we might have lunch right here ladies and gentlemen really fast too i might oh yes that is gonna be a donkey come on oh look at the rod bend oh my gosh that's what i love about using ultralight gear you can try all you want, but you ain't going nowhere. The drag is set just perfect, too. Gosh, I love the way this setup feels. I mean, it's spectacular. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get over here. I got a big old net for you. Come on. 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 Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's lunch right there. Oh my gosh. This setup is so spectacular. I absolutely love the action of it. The guys at Old 18 just said, here, go test this out. Try to break it. Ah, oh, yes. All right, look at that right there. The bug's flat killer. Hopefully y'all can see it. I'm not too sure what y'all are looking at, but I know what I can see right there. And oh, it feels so good to get lunch. him he's got it no okay yep we just spooked him i just i stopped it right there in front of him didn't even move it and then whomp whomp chomped it spit the darn thing back guys like, what the heck is this oh my god yeah they, they are there's no way i'm gonna catch a red today they are just way they <laughs> they are way too finicky bruh i'm lucky i got you Oh my gosh, that was the perfect lineup. There's, I could not present it any better than that. There's one more red in there. And the minute that he saw that guy just cruising through the mud, because I was scooching him along just like that, he took off. He wanted nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my Lord, what do we got to do? Seriously, what do we got to do to to get one of these idiots to bite. <laughs> I suppose I'm the idiot for continuously trying to catch them. Oh my gosh. You're talking this, I mean, this was really tough. Very tough to, to swallow that pill whenever you can 
when you're sight casting them and they don't want to take it. And you're sight casting them with your confidence lure too. Something that's not going to spook them. You lead them, you put the lure right there where it's going to be in front of their face as they come up to it and you don't even move it. And then they still spook. I've done everything that I possibly could to try and get these guys to bite. That's probably nine reds that I've sight casted and spooked each and every one of them. Live bait. That's what's going to be the key. You have you some live bait, then you're going to make it happen. Okay. Well, it's now that part of the day where we're going to dispatch this guy and just call it, make it an early day. We'll get home and get lunch started. We are just about ready to start cooking this fella. What we've got is our redfish that we caught earlier and we're going to make a chipotle cilantro lime cream sauce. So you've got some Mexican style cream right there. And then we've got the limes, some San Marcos, chipotle peppers, and then fresh cilantro. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna dice up some garlic. I do have that. And then I also have some shallots for a little bit of an onion flavor. And then we'll salt and pepper to taste. All right, our pan is smoking. So we gotta hurry up and put some olive oil. About a tablespoon is what I'm gonna add. Get that moving around. Let that oil heat up really fast. I mean, I know the pan is smoking already, but that oil needs to get just a bit hot. Salt and pepper on our fish fillets right there. And there we go. Do the same to the remainder of them. All right, looks like they're ready to flip, especially this, these two right here. These guys are ready. Now here's a tablespoon of butter. Try to get all of the caramelized fish flesh, the fish meat that's on the pan, trying to get that off. All right, I cannot believe I wasn't recording. Um, <laughs> I just made this sauce and I thought I was recording, but the camera wasn't even on. Uh, so here, let's do a little rewind. That right there, let's get the color in there. Okay, the white balance, there we go. That is, there was half of a lime right there inside that little bowl. We had the chipotle and then the cilantro. And then in that bowl right there, that was eight ounces of the fresh cream. And it turned into that right there. I uh, just did the taste test. Really good with exception to salt. So we're gonna add some salt to it. I'm kind of glad I only put half of a lime because on the last cooked video, it was just way overpowering when I used that lemon. So half of a lime did the trick. Oh, and we also put one tablespoon of butter. Uh, I put the butter in there to kind of free up all of the caramelized fish that stuck to the pan. So it released it so we can get that flavor from it. And now for the moment of truth. Let's see how just a regular pan fried fish filet in olive oil with salt and pepper. It is just basic minus the salt. I should have just did it without the sauce first. Tasted the fish just to see what that is like. So that little piece right there, no sauce on it. Oh my gosh, that is really good. Just salt and pepper, it's almost like steak. Goodness gracious, that is really good. I can't believe that it tastes like that without butter, because I didn't use the butter. I did with the sauce, but the fish itself, I mean, y'all saw it, olive oil. And the, the meat on the fish on each side it got caramelized, it crispy a little bit, and that is just like the perfect touch. The center of it is nice and moist. 
I am now taking a liking to the way the uh, the flesh, the, the tenderness of it, and, and the moisture. I cooked it for about three minutes on each side, and then just kind of watched for the translucence of the, the fish flesh to actually turn like an opaque white, like just turn white, and that was good. So now let's get it with the sauce right here. The sauce is really good, but I think I prefer the fish without the sauce. So we're gonna scrape that to the side. Don't get me wrong, that sauce is really good, but a little goes a long way. So we're gonna scrape that off. I really wanna taste the crispiness of the fish right there. So for those of y'all that have cooked with redfish before, you know that each bit of the meat, it's like a very firm flesh and it's real big flakes. It's like steak, oh my gosh, it's so good. And then I bled the redfish itself so that it doesn't have that real fishy flavor. Redfish have a huge, massive bloodline. So if you don't bleed them and you leave that bloodline there, for those of y'all that don't like that fishiness flavor, then you're gonna wanna bleed them. This is phenomenal. I love this right here, it is really good. It's, this is a really great dish. On a scale rating from one to 10, it's gonna get a nine. Uh, I'm really impressed with it to the point that I would actually serve this for dinner. So I'm gonna write the recipe down, very simple, and uh, we'll plate it with like a couple of sides or something like that whenever we have guests or whenever we just feel like having something like this, but it is definitely good. I'm gonna get the wife to come in here and just taste a little bit of it. But that's gonna do it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate the support that each and every one of y'all leave. If you have comments, drop those down below. Remember, I thrive off of them. I read each and every one of them. I may not be able to respond to all of them, but I do read them, so thank you so much. For those of y'all not subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed today's show, click that subscribe button for me. And if you wanna be notified by YouTube whenever I drop a new video, ring that bell icon and they will do so. All right, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up button please. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.